guys, it's MazeMan112, and today I'm going to start a little mini-series for you guys. It's going to be for that Call of Duty noob, the person who's never really played Black Ops before. Say, you know, you just lost a 1v1 versus your friend's girlfriend on Carrier or something like that. This is going to be a map or a little series to help you guys out. Uh, the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is go over map traffic. To me, the number one thing that you need to know in any kind of FPS is the map and the map traffic. So take time to learn the whole map layout. Um, this is the first thing that all the really good guys do, and this is the thing that separates the mediocre people from the elite level people. So I'm going to go ahead and do my first, uh, or a best attempt I can do to go ahead and fill you guys in on it. The first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is look at the map aftermath. This one gives you a pretty, pretty realistic idea of what all the map layouts kind of look like. So let's go ahead and show you this. Uh, the first thing to go ahead and just show you guys what's on the map, if you notice, the D's are the domination points. Uh, I'm going to show you guys the domination points because as a noob, I would suggest not using Team Deathmatch. A lot of people say, go play Team Deathmatch, that way you could do alright. But it's hard in Team Deathmatch to understand where the enemy is spawning from and where they would be attacking from. In Domination, this is a little bit easier to understand, so let's go ahead and break this down. As you can see, I have the S's where all your spawn points are going to be. There's a little bit more than just these six. Uh, but this is in the general location where they're going to be spawning. So know that this is where your enemy is going to be coming from and use this to your advantage. Most maps, especially Treyarch maps, have three different locations or three different routes to get to the other side of the map. I labeled these one, two, and the other one I did not label. I just kept it in red and there's a reason for that. I will touch on that later. Um, the, tr the trick is to go ahead and this is where the, a lot of the bottleneck is going to be. This is where the traffic flow is going to be. Now, on these paths, there normally is going to be a one or two different cut-throughs showing you how to get from one to another so you can actually run through the middle of the map as well. But the reason why it is red is because this is where the baby buffaloes roam. Um, you do not want to be in the middle of the map. This is where you are a target for everyone out there, especially in a you know, team deathmatch setting where you're not playing the objective. Uh, people are just licking their lips waiting for someone to come out in that open so they can go ahead and put them in the crosshairs and put them down. So the key is to go ahead and maneuver around this outside the map and knowing where your traffic flow is coming. So always keep an eye on your radar. And when you look at that little mini map, say you don't have a UAV up, you can still get a good idea of where the opponent is. Things you want to look for is where is the bulk of your team at. And not only that, your teammates are going to show up as a triangle. It's key to go ahead and make sure you you pay attention to which way that triangle is facing. That lets you know which way your teammates are looking and which ways are uncovered. This is a huge thing you'll find, especially if you're not playing with a team uh, or if no one really has their chat, you find out that you get a lot of teammates that are all staring at the same exact location and you guys all get shot from behind. This is how you ignore that. This is going to go ahead and wrap it up for you guys. Uh, let me know if you'd like to see a little bit more of these map breakdowns, a little bit more of a traffic breakdown, and put it in the comment section below. Next time, I'm going to be showing you guys a little bit more in-depth things, a little bit higher um, difficulty things, such as how to head glitch, uh, best ways to go ahead and, and cancel a reload, and just really how to go ahead and utilize while walking around the map to make sure that you're in the best optimal uh, spot to go ahead and control the engagement. Uh, like I said, leave it in the comment section below. Make sure you guys hit that like button, hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. And now for some videos that you guys may have missed. On the left, it's a giveaway. Make sure you guys go ahead and check that out. I'm going to be giving away a Black Ops 2 for the holidays. So go ahead and check that out so you can be eligible to win. On the right, I have a new little series I'm calling Transit Tuesdays where you guys are going to help me out play some zombies. I am a zombie noob, so I'm going to need your help on this. And I'm also going to do some tutorials along the way. Go ahead and check those out.